Hello everyone. Uh, so today I'll be showing you how we can uh, play multiple webcam in your Unity project. So uh, let's get started. So let's first of all I'm going to create some folders. Let's call it um, multi webcam. This will be our project name. I'm going to create a couple more folder called scene. Um, prepare. Mm -hmm. uh, let's drag all this with a multi webcam. So now let's save the scene. Get inside the scene folder. Let's call it main. I'm going to go to the main camera and I like to change the clear flag, uh, so I, I don't want to render the skybox, instead I want to render some solid color. Uh, let's choose some, uh, let's choose the black color, I like this one as black. So now let's go to the game object, uh, 3D object, and create a plane. So uh, what we'll be doing the, with this is, uh, we'll be rendering uh, the video from the webcam in this uh, plane. So First of all, I need my camera uh, to. So I need my camera to point at the plane so that I can see what's going on, on the plane. Uh, we can, can do a multiple way. We can uh, just rotate the camera and face it towards the uh, plane. But uh, I'm going to rotate the plane instead, so that would be much easier. Uh, so let's create an empty object. And let's call it um, cam. Uh, uh, let's call it webcam holder. And let's drag the plane inside the webcam holder. Uh, make sure the webcam holder is zero zero zero. And let's go to plane. Let's call it uh, webcam um, textures. So basically, this will render render the webcam texture. So. Now I'm going to rotate it on um, x axis and 90 degree. Let's see. Uh, no, the camera is not facing yet. So let's do the negative one. Okay, so uh, let's go to game of scene. So my camera now facing uh, towards the plane. Uh, the plane kind of look bigger. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the webcam texture, not the webcam holder. I'm going to change the webcam texture. Let's uh, scale down to half. Okay, much better now. Um, I'm gonna move the camera. Let's go to the main camera, and I'm gonna change the field of view to instead of 60, I'm gonna put 80. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this. Now, what you can do is just click on the webcam holder and drag it to our prefab folder. So what it will do is it will create a prefab from this game object so that we can use it later. So since we have a prefab of this, we don't need the webcam folder anymore on the scene. So it, we can just delete this one. Okay, so we have the webcam holder and we are good to go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the script and create a new script. I'm going to create a C-sharp script. And let's call it uh, multi-webcam manager. Uh, let's open this up. Uh, I'm going to use the Mono Develop, the default editor for Unity. Okay, so so if you don't like the default view of the Mono Develop, you can go to the Tools option, and let's scroll back. Let's scroll to down to uh, let's scroll down to the text editor and syntax highlighter and I like the dark one the night shade and let's let me zoom in a little bit okay now let's clean some of this thing up uh, I need the start method I need the update let's remove this so first of all I'm going to create a public uh, game object. 
let's call let's name it um multi let's name it webcam texture prefab so this one will hold uh, the prefab that we made so let's go back to unity let's create an empty object and let's call it webcam uh, multi webcam manager and this game object will hold our webcam manager script so let's drag it to this game object so now it will ask uh, the webcam texture preframe so I'm gonna drag the webcam holder into this one okay I'm going to create a private variable uh, for name of camps so th this will contain all the names of the webcam that we'll be connecting now I need how many webcam actually connected to our system so let's take integer number of camps webcam texture dot devices or length so this will give us uh, how many cam we have now we can assign the name of web of webcam string number of cam. So uh, now we can look through the total number of cams. Now I'm going to I'm going to instantiate the prefab we have we made uh, so for each webcam we need uh, one webcam texture prefab so I'm gonna create a game object go is instantiate webcam texture prefab the position I'm gonna put new vector 3 um, let's put for x I'm gonna just put uh, i to 6 uh, I was assuming the 6 is the half width of the uh, plane. Just a random number I choose. Uh, 0, 0. And the rotation is for turning the identity. And I'm going to instantiate as a game object. Okay. Now uh, it will instantiate. Uh, uh, the plane on the scene. Now I'm going to change uh, the parent. Apple.transform. I'm going to change the parent of this game object to the parent of my current game object, which is transform. So let's uh, check how it works. So it will create, uh, right now I have two webcams. So it's supposed to create uh, two game object. Uh, okay, so we have two uh, plane texture, and I just uh, put inside the webcam manager since I changed the parent. So okay, now I we have to render this uh, web render our webcam feed in in this plane texture. So for to do that, let's create the webcam texture. Okay. Texture new webcam texture. Each webcam texture need a name. So the the cam name webcam texture dot device name, which is we already have, which is name of camps. I. Uh, so before the, uh, that we need the name of the camp so we haven't assigned the name of the camp so I'm going to assign this one now name of camps is uh, webcam texture dot devices i dot name now I'm going to store all this webcam texture into a list 
so that I can go back to the list and call any web contextual I want. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to create another private variable, which is list, private, uh, list. It's a list of uh, webcam texture. Let's call it webcam textures. Okay, so to, to use the list, uh, we have use uh, system dot collection dot generic so we have a list of webcam texture and I'm gonna add this webcam or each webcam actually from now on into these webcam textures Make sure you yeah, add the correct one. Okay, so we're almost done. Now I want to assign this webcam texture into my game object. Uh, now, to be precise, we don't actually want to assign our game object into the webcam holder because the, if you can remember, the webcam holder is just an empty game object that holds this webcam texture uh, prefab or the webcam texture. Uh, game object uh, so which has the render mesh renderer and material and all other component so what we actually want to do is we have, want to access this webcam texture and we're going to go to this component renderer and we want to assign the webcam texture instance uh, into this uh, material so since we already have access to webcam holder uh, which is the core we can access this uh, child object which is a texture and from there we can actually get all the, the material and other render component so the way we can do that is very easy uh, school.transform.getChild since I already know the first child is uh, the game texture so I'm going to put the zero and from there I'm going to uh, from so uh, from Oh, sorry, this extra bracket. So, get component. I'm going to access the render component. And from render component, there is another one called material dot mean texture. And now, the most important part why I'm going to assign the texture. I'm going to assign the texture using the list I have created. I make sure you use the list are not the webcam texture by itself. So I'm going to use webcam textures, uh, the first i, and we're good to go. Now all I have to do, I have to restart the cam so that the webcam will play. Uh, so to do the webcam textures, i dot play. So Okay, that's the rest of it. So let's uh, test it. So there you go, guys. Yeah, this is how we control uh, any number of webcam in your Unity project. Uh, it's very easy, I think. Only a few lines of code. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll, I'll see you next time.